Hey, it's Greg Shira from NASA's Scientific Visualization Studio. We wanted to see if we could visualize the so-called ocean garbage patches. We start with data from floating scientific buoys that NOAA has been distributing in the oceans for the last 35 years, represented here as white dots. Let's speed up time to see where the buoys go. Since new buoys are continually released, it's hard to tell where older buoys move to. Let's clear the map and add the starting locations of all the buoys. Interesting patterns appear all over the place. Lines of buoys are due to ships and planes that released buoys periodically. If we let all the buoys go at the same time, we can observe buoy migration patterns. The number of buoys decreases because some buoys don't last as long as others. The buoys migrate to five known gyres, also called ocean garbage patches. We can also see this in a computational model of ocean currents called ECHO2. We release particles evenly around the world and let the modeled currents carry the particles. The particles from the model also migrate to the garbage patches. Even though the retime buoys and model particles did not react to currents at the same times, the fact that the data tend to accumulate in the same regions shows how robust the result is.